Hello and welcome, it's Arrow Knights, and today I wanted to chat about a tweet that I shot out a little bit earlier this week, just to elaborate on what I meant. Um, I tweeted out that getting, okay, so I'm getting my Lunas Howl, I'm on the last last step, I've already hit Fabled, I'm on the last step of the quest, and I'm diving in, and I'm just, I'm doing it until I have it, okay? I'm super excited to get this gun. As you guys probably know, I think I spent a lot of time in the Crucible. I love PvE, play that a lot, but I do spend a lot of time in the Crucible as well. So, I tweeted out that getting 100 hand cannon precision kills is a bit rough in the comp playlist. And I just kind of wanted to clarify what I meant a little bit. First off, I'm having an absolute blast in the Crucible right now. If Bungie never changed a thing, I would probably be okay with it. I think I would be because I am having super, super good time and I have so many different loadouts I want to use. I feel like everybody else is using a lot of, using a lot of different things. I mean, I think we all can agree a lot of people, especially in the higher ranks of the competitive playlist, are using shotguns. Those are very effective. That's part of what I want to talk about in this video. Um, but overall, I'm having an absolute blast in PvP, and I, I very much appreciate and can't imagine what kind of uh, undertaking it was, but appreciate the Bungie team, the Sandbox team, uh, all of them for what they've done and the, the big change that we've had with Forsaken. I enjoyed the Crucible before. I enjoyed the Crucible back in D1 and all of its stages. And, and once again, this other version of the Crucible we're in right now, I'm, I'm really loving it. I'm having a good time. With that, I'm on console. I know hand cannons feel a little bit different on PC. I played on PC as well. I do have a copy of it with the uh, crazy hobbyist levels of the, uh, the game that we have right now, which I love. I'm not able to maintain two different platforms, but I know it's a little bit different shooting a hand cannon on console. It's still amazing. It's still awesome. We did it all through D1. Maybe that has a little bit to do with it. Um, I, I, I do know, obviously, with mouse and keyboard and even myself using it, um, hand cannons, man, you can hit those shots, but you can do it on, on console as well. But right now I'm on that last step and I'm using trust. I'm using kill clip Duke and wow, it, it, it it's not that it's crazy hard. It's just that I, I can use a shotgun. I can use this. I can use that. I can have this loadout. It's not just shotguns. I've got, you got rockets, um, supers. There's so many things. I mean, it's this part of destiny and to get a hundred precision kills. Yes, I will eventually do it. But as soon as I jumped in last night, I'm like, okay, I'm just going to play a few games a night and try to get 10 of them, okay, each play session. Because there's so many things that are killing you right now faster than what a hand cannon can do, or maybe even a primary weapon, kinetic weapon. Uh, Mercules even mentioned this uh, on our show when he was on, and uh, just said maybe, I've heard this before, maybe an overall kinetic primary buff to, to kind of come in line with some of the other stuff, okay, making the kinetics a little bit more effective. But when I go in with a hand cannon right now, I'm going up against probably, this is comp specifically, I'm probably going up against a lot of shotguns. Everybody's going to have their super, you know, not too far into the game. Power comes up, I'm not 100% on this, but I think it's every minute. It feels like it's every minute. Uh, so there's a lot of power in the game. And I'm back here trying to get hand cannon precision kills. And basically what I've learned, and again, it's I know it's just all a time factor. I will eventually get them. But when you're focused on that and you're trying to get them, you really kind of notice different things if you hadn't already. And it's quite crazy, and it's part of destiny, but how many times you're going to have a duel with someone with your kinetic weapon and you get shotgun aped or you get hit with power ammo or you get hit with a super. Now, I'm not asking... You know, I don't want this to sound like things that many asked for back in D1 and then then we got D2. Again, I'm having an absolute blast in the Crucible right now. I do think there are a couple things maybe we could tweak a little bit, and I'm sure they're aware of, without totally nerfing the sandbox. For example, I love that you get sniper and shotgun and fusion ammo on spawn. I do think that you get a little bit too much shotgun ammo. Um, it's not that I don't think, I do like that you spawn with it. Where really I'm talking about is, for example, I'm running like all shotgun perks on my, my loadout, okay? When I kill someone, I don't know the exact numbers. I could go in, of course, and do this, look at some spreadsheets. But before I know it, I have five, six, seven shotgun rounds. Just like that, okay? And then if I get killed, I immediately get two back. So 
it's like, wow, that's that's a lot. Not necessarily snipers, okay? I kind of understand snipers. They are a one-shot kill. They're a little bit more precision kill type of weapon. Um, a lot of times with shotguns, you're going to trade. If you're playing that play style, you're going to trade. But the thing is, is even if you run in and trade, you get two more back, okay? So again, I don't want to see stuff nerfed into the ground, but I do think there's rooms for room for things to be tweaked. And, and what happens is, is it's the overall snowball effect of Destiny, right? I love the Crucible. I love the sandbox. I wouldn't, again, it's not that I want everything nerfed into the ground. I want to feel powerful. But when you combine things like that with the fact that power ammo spawns every minute, with the fact that you have your super ever however much time, and, and you're probably at least getting two in that game, and there's four guardians on each team, before you know it, there are not many gun battles actually happening. There's rockets, there's shotgun blast, trading, spawning with more ammo, and there's, there's, um, well, there's just, there's all kinds of stuff like that. Now, abilities, I think, are in a great place right now. I just think a couple of these things could use a little bit of a tweak after spending a lot of time in the Crucible after Forsaken. Again, I don't want anything nerfed into the ground. Uh, we've been there. It's not that it was intentional, but we've learned that that, that crucible isn't that much fun. Um, but with all this said, I'm having a blast in the crucible. What are you guys, uh, what's your experience? Are you having fun? Do you think there's anything that could be tweaked a little bit? Would you like to see any buffs? Would you like to see any nerfs? Um, looking for just some constructive feedback, uh, what you guys think on the cur current state of the crucible. Uh, I'm having a good time. Just some little things that I've noticed playing a lot of it. Uh, but anyways, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Again, let me know your thoughts on anything I talked about in this video today, what your experience has been playing in the Crucible since Forsaken launched and up to the latest patches. Uh, and then what your, uh, favorite thing to do in Destiny right now is, um, this reset. Again, I, I'm just working on my Lunas stuff. My Lunas how decided that's my main focus, knocked some other things out. And now I'm going to focus on that till I get it. So that's what prompted this video. Hopefully it didn't sound like I was complaining too much. That's not my intention. I think there's always room for tweaks or improvement, but overall right now I'm having a great, great, great time in this game, Crucible and in PVE. And uh, I'm interested to hear if you guys are as well. As always, don't hesitate to send me any other topics you'd like to see me cover. Thank you all so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, a like is very much appreciated. If you would enjoy watching more of my content, please subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button to get immediate notification when my new content goes live. You can find all of my info and links below, as well as Destiny Reset Podcast. That's our podcast that I do with Cyborg Sasquatch. And you can find me on Twitter, YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, and Instagram at Aeronight, A-E-R-0-K-N-I-G-H-T. I look forward to chatting with you all, and until next time, take care, everybody.